I'm Jasmine Parole for Elista Media and today I have with me here Dr. Jacob Epin who is an MD, the Director of Alameda Health Systems and an elected board director of Washington Hospital, Fremont, California. He is a distinguished alumni of the Stanford University and University of California, Berkeley. He worked in Tanzania, Nigeria and also worked as a health advisor for the United Nations High Commissioners of refugees in the Philippines. He lives in Fremont with his wife Shirley and has two children, Dr. Naveen and Dr. Sandhya. Welcome to Dr. Jacob. Hello, Dr. Jacob, and thank you very much for being with us and uh, spending this time with us today. Can you please shed some light on the situation that we are in? You know, right now uh, we are in the midst of this pandemic of COVID-19. Uh, it's been spreading around the world. Uh, some of the countries are it more badly than others. Uh, some other countries had the epidemic peaked earlier than us. Uh, but right now it's really spreading in the USA. Uh, it's all across. The hot spot is probably New York. Uh, they have the maximum number of cases. Uh, obviously, it's a much bigger city, much larger population. Uh, Washington State is probably number two, and then California. Uh, California also is a large state, and um, the number of infections are going up. I think just within the last 24 hours, I think uh, they have had about 6,000 new cases. Uh, even mortality, the death is also slowly starting to go up. I'm told that even today in the Bay Area, we have lost about two or three lives. Um, the the thing about this corona or COVID-19 uh, is that the mortality rate is not that high. Uh, it's mostly, it's between two and three percent, uh, which is not that high. Basically, if 100 people get uh, infected, uh, the chances of somebody dying would be two or three out of 100, uh, which is much less than a lot of other uh, coronaviruses. Uh, Coronavirus, uh, you know, the class itself has got about uh, seven, I mean, there are four types. It's alpha, beta, gamma, delta, there are four classes. Uh, but there are about seven types of coronaviruses that have infected uh, human beings. Four of them have been around. Uh, it, it's been all around for a long time, uh, which just causes common cold just upper respiratory infection, running nose, a little bit of cough, uh, it just goes away. I um, mean, we, we call it as normal flu. Uh, but in the last uh, two decades, we have had uh, three new coronaviruses. Uh, one was uh, MERS, that is a Middle East uh, respiratory syndrome, which apparently came from um, camels, because all these are uh, zoonotic. Zoonotic means most of these viruses originally come from animals. And the second one was SARS, uh, Sudden Acute Respiratory uh, Syndrome. Um, then the third corona was uh, COVID-19. Uh, but compared to MERS and SARS, the mortality rate of SARS was maybe about 10 to 15%, and MERS was about 30%. And like I said, for COVID, it's two to three percent. So compared to the other two coronaviruses that have come in the last uh, 20 years, uh, I would say the mortality for COVID-19 is much, much less. But at the same time, it's not, not something to be taken lightly. Uh, generally, like any other infection, you know, when there's a pandemic, the people who are really affected are the people who are elderly, who are immunocompromised, even elderly, they are immunocompromised, the immune system is weak. Uh, but having said that, the teenagers also could be infected, but they're able to fight it off much better. Uh, that's one of the reasons why even in China, in Wuhan, where they, the whole epidemic started, um, there were only nine reported cases in children who were less than one year old. And so far, thank God, uh, no 
deaths have been reported around the world in children. And me being a pediatrician, I, I see a lot of children every day with pretty much similar symptoms. So my only consolation is that the mortality rate in children for, from this infection is almost zero. They have also identified two newborn cases with positive COVID. They are just born and they were positive. Uh, one was in China, and the second, I believe, was in um, in England. And so, the, although we say a droplet and airborne infection, that is a way of transmission, but when you have a newborn being affected, there is always a thought about other modes of transmission. Can it have been trans, you know, transferred from the mom to the baby even before it was born? So this is such a new virus. There's so much of unknown. And we are still learning. 